Apostle, hey, from CFA. What's up, guys? Ash Bigail here, owner of Charleston Fossil Adventures and photographer and co-author of A Beachcomber's Guide to Fossils. Today, we're out here at Morris Island to show you a little bit about our Morris Island adventure that's starting off in 2024. So come along with us on our Beachcombing the Carolinas series, and let's see what we can find. Okay, so we're getting into some good material now. Right off the bat, we have two, about one, one to one and a half inch teeth right down here. This one is a partial lower tooth from that precursor to Megalodon, Carcharicles angustidens, dating back about 24 to 30 million years old. And then about a foot and a half away, looks like this one's going to be from the extinct great white Carcharodon hastalis. Awesome finds. Now, if you've been watching this channel for some time, you know that we love talking about all kinds of different fossils we can find here in Charleston. This one is no exception. Right here amongst all the mud balls on the beach, beautiful vertebra or centrum from a shark. Based on the voids on the dorsal and the ventral sides here, we can tell it comes within the Carcharhinoformes order, uh, including our reef sharks, tiger sharks, and extinct snaggletooth sharks. Not everything that washes up out on the beach out here is going to be a fossil. We can also get some human relics. This one quite a bit older than some of the others we can find. Right here we have a pottery shirt from a ceramic piece made by the late archaic people that lived here about 4,000 years ago. This one is particularly fascinating because we can see this kind of uh, basket-like texture to it. A lot of people thought that this is where they push it into a basket before firing. But what's actually going on here is they would take a flat piece of wood, wrap it with cordage, so essentially uh, primitive rope, hold their hand on the inside of the pot and then slap the outside of the pot with that cordage wrapped paddle to really firm up all of the individual clay particles and create a much stronger pot prior to the firing process. Awesome piece right here. Now, not everything that appears black out here is going to be a fossil. Right here, what is seemingly a piece of uh, black bone, we kind of hold it up and catch it in the light there. It's a little bit of a dark green. This is glass from the uh, most likely 17 or 1800s and something that a lot of collectors are currently calling pirate glass. Another thing I love about this island is that there are so many different types of colors that we can have on the fossils that are preserved here. Looks like we've got a little posterior or rear lateral tooth from an Angustinans. Let's see what it is. Yep, sure enough, wonderful little orangey tan color right there. We have a nice piece of extinct loggerhead sea turtle shell right here. That beautiful uh, rugose surface with that lovely pattern on the outside of the shell. And then we have a partial section of the plastron right there, indicating this is from the edge of the turtle's shell. About the same size of today's modern loggerhead sea turtles, but up to 30 million years old. Take a look at this. Wow. So this is an upper molar from a white-tailed deer that lived here in the Ice Age over 100,000 years ago. Look at the definition of the cusps on this tooth. This belongs to the same white-tailed deer that is alive today roaming around here in Charleston. We could literally pull a tooth from a skull off the side of the road and it would look identical to this one. What an absolutely amazing tooth. Here's a fun one. That is the lumbar vertebra of an extinct dolphin or small whale. You can see actually here where the growth plate is still attached, section where it popped off. 
very cool find, probably uh, between 24 to 30 million years old. So it's safe to say that out here you have to put in some mileage. You definitely have to do a fair bit of walking to get to some different areas that are more productive than others. Uh, we've finally gotten into one of those areas. A couple of uh, whale skull chunks right here in my right hand. We've also got some stein kerns or internal molds of clams, some fish bones, the tip of a great white, a uh, rather large sand tiger. And then uh, right down here, one of our extinct tiger shark teeth from Physogalius contortus, the long tooth tiger. And then right next to him, an absolutely gorgeous posterior tooth from Carcharicles chubutensis, that ancestor direct precursor to the megalodon, about 18 to 24 million years old. All right, we got our first megalodon of the day. Check it out, right down here, hiding in the sand, partially covered. It might not be complete, but it's a very nice, broad, juvenile tooth. A little bit of a flatter crown there, and an example that a meg is still a meg. And we've got another hiding right down here in the bottom of this tide pool. See how much is there. All right, about 80% of it. Beautiful example. Another one of my favorite things to do out here is find one of these large patches of shells. Enameled shark teeth are going to kind of blend in. We spotted one tooth right off the bat. Looks to be some member of the Megalodon lineage. Uh, just a few inches away, spied this guy right here, the extinct Snaggletooth shark from the upper jaw. And then right down here where I sat down, I have one fragment of a larger tooth there, and then I even spied one more, the edge of a Carcharicles angustidens tooth. So just like that, four decent sized teeth in an area that has been searched already in just a couple feet. Come on up here and check this out. It's been in a stretch that many people have walked over today. My first thing that I saw was this one right here. Beautiful lower tooth from the Mako shark, Isurus oxyrhynchus. I looked eight inches away and bam, an even larger tooth, same species of shark from the upper jaw. That's absolutely insane. We've got a beautiful Mako shark tooth from the rear of the jaw. Absolutely gorgeous. Morris Island has a history dating back to before the Civil War, leading up through the Civil War on into the early 1900s. There's a lot of human trash that washes up on the beach out here, but every now and then when it corrodes, it will form these concretionary nodules. And this bar right here happens to have a tooth from Carcharodon hostalis, our extinct great white, sucked into one of those concretions uh, looks like it's on top of an angel wing shell, surrounded by lots of oysters and coquina clams. It's easy to walk over things and just assume they are rocks, but that's one of the benefits of having a team of paleontologists out with you on your tour, because this thing right here, which looks just like a regular old phosphate nodule, just useless rock, we can tell that it has this nice little conchoidal fracture, something we would see on flint, or glass. Uh, turning it over, there's a few more distinguishing features, which I know don't look like much from this view, but little areas of the bone where the canals would have been on this very large baleen whale ear bone. This is a section of the periodic bone, which has the cochlea, um, that little fluid-filled spiral with all the little hairs that kind of tell you what way is up whenever you are swimming or standing as in our case. So big baleen whale periodic or ear bone. And of course, you know it's not a CFA tour without us finding a piece of shark poop. This is preserved fecal matter from the small intestines of a dead shark, still housed within the shark right after it died and preserved long enough in those intestines to turn into a fossil. We know this as a coprolite.
check that out. We've got another beautiful vertebra here from a shark in the Lamniformes order, something like mackerel, white, mako, thresher, sand tiger, or possibly even a shark in the megalodon lineage. We can tell all of that just by the features on this single bone. Now, if you think that's cool and you want to come on an adventure and find fossils just like these with our team of paleontologists, then we encourage you to book your adventure with the link in the description. All of the information is down there and on our website. We run trips year round. We find a lot of really incredible fossils, all of it just sitting here in Charleston waiting for you to book your adventure. So with that, we thank you for watching. Happy hunting, collect responsibly, and we'll see you next time.